I'm black. I'm tired of people that look like me being killed. I'm tired of people that look like my father, my brother, my boyfriend being killed for nothing. When Dylan Roof murdered nine people in a church who are also practicing their rights to peacefully assemble, murdered them in the police in the Burger King after he was peacefully arrested. Yeah. There are people like George Floyd. There are people like Sandra Bland. There are so many countless, countless names, and yeah. I'm tired. You know, I want to get your perspective. We heard leaders earlier come and ask for people to be peaceful, different from what we saw last night in West Charlotte. Do you believe that you and other protesters heard that plea from our city leaders? I do. And as I as I said, we were peaceful. We were peaceful. There were people instigating and we all as a collective came together to remind others who were a little bit more upset. Do not engage. That's what they want. Be peaceful. Don't engage. Kristen, when you say uh, when they were uh, getting getting you up. How? How were they instigating this? There was a young man who had been with this program or this uh, protest since it started earlier this evening. He was practicing his Second Amendment right. He was carrying his firearm, which is not illegal to do. The police, about maybe 30, 35 minutes ago, pushed a friend of mine, a young female who's shorter than I am, petite, pushed her out of the way to get to this young man. They took his firearm and they arrested him. We have no idea where he is. We have no idea where they took him, and that's troublesome. Yeah, and, and just for our viewers, I do want to confirm what Kristen is saying. I have that confirmed. CMPD has said they have made one arrest out here. There are about 150 protesters outside CMPD headquarters, and just like she alluded, that is confirmed. CMPD saying they have made an arrest with a person with a concealed weapon. What, was that person threatening in any way in your regard? He was not. That young man was not threatening anyone. That young man was <laughs> minding his business. He was peacefully protesting. He was not breaking any laws. It is not illegal in North Carolina to carry your firearm when you have the correct permits. I know this young man personally. He has the correct permits. What is illegal is infringing upon the rights of American citizens, which is what Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Office is doing right now, and they have been doing all evening. Kristen, I want to ask you while I have have you here and thank you for your time. Um, what do you hope comes of this? This is clearly messaging to CMPD, your voices wanting to be heard. But what action do you want our city leaders, our police department to do to help this situation? I personally do not think that city leaders that police officers, I don't think they give a damn about us. So I don't think that any action taken on their part will be in the benefit of my community. I think that this is on our shoulders. It's on our shoulders. Um, Kristen, as you were saying, uh, it, it doesn't sound like you're very hopeful. Then. I'm hopeful for my community. I'm not hopeful that a system that was built on our backs. I'm not hopeful that a system that has continuously chosen to oppress us, I'm not hopeful that they'll change overnight. I'm not hopeful that they'll change in November with a, a changing of hand in the White House. I'm, I'm not hopeful for any of that. I'm hopeful yeah. for my people.